Congratulations on making it to 1C. You made it through your 1A, 1B. Now we're on to 1C, which is all about unit rate. So let's dive into this practice. So we've already talked about what a unit rate is, but let's see it in action. So packet ready, pencil ready to go. Here we go with the first problem. A box of wheat crackers contains six servings and has a total of 420 calories. What are the calories per serving? So the key words I'm picking up on is, yes, they give us number of servings and number of calories, but really the question is asking for calories per serving. And as we know from Rady, per, right? We know that's a rate, specifically a unit rate, because notice how it says serving singular. So that means just one. We don't want to know how many calories in one serving. So first things first, I need to know what two things I'm comparing. So we got calories over serving. And the reason I wrote it with calories on top is because it says that here, calories per serving. So I think of calories, I kind of picture the fractional line as the word per and then serving. Okay, so let's take the information they already gave us and keep it in that same order. So we're going to put 420 on top because that represents the calories and six on the bottom, which represents the servings. And I know from the question that I need to find how much one serving is. So I am, if I can find it, there we go. I need to set up my proportion so that I'm scaling down to one serving. So my one is on the bottom because it's in the serving row. Okay, so I need to think, that I could look across for the connection, I could look up or down. Um, either way you see it, you're um, using that connection to figure out how much one serving would be. So I'm going to take this and divide by six because to get from six down to one is what we're doing. So 420 divided by six, I think 42 divided by six is seven, put that zero at the end, so it's going to be 70 calories. And you might have noticed that connection up here, that six times 70 gives us 420. That's the same idea here. So it's 70 calories in one serving. That would be our answer. And make sure you like circle or rewrite your answer or something to make sure it stands out. Okay, let's go ahead and try question number two here. So Diet Cola was on sale last week. It cost $10 for every four packs. Find the unit rate for cost per pack. So it's telling us to find the unit rate. We know that means the second quantity has to be one. And we know the second quantity is packs because of the way they wrote it. Cost per pack. Packs come in second, they wrote it singularly. So I've got cost over pack as my rate to start setting it up. The information they gave us was $10 for four packs. So we're scaling down to, oops, I'll tell you about that 2.5 here in a second. We're scaling down to one. And so when I look, I really don't see a whole number connection here. Now maybe you do see this decimal connection, but what we want to do is do four divided by four to get down to one. So then we're gonna take 10 divided by four, and if you did not know what 10 divided by four was off the top of your head, then do it off to the side. Just like you can see me doing it here, I'm doing 10 divided by four, I just follow my dividing rules and keep going until I um, run out of numbers, and when I do that, I get 2.5. But because that number is represented by cost, it's dollars, we don't write dollars as $2.5. We say $2, oh, there we go, $2.50. So that's how much it costs for one pack using that um, rate they gave us going down to the unit rate. And remember, do work off to the side if you need to. Feel free. Okay, let's take a look at these next two. Now, what I want you to do is pause this video. I will explain these here in a second, but I want you to try these on your own first now that we've done two together. So pause your video, set up the problem, use the proportions that I showed you. Don't just um, divide off to the side. We want to use those rates and the proportions to solve these. So pause this video, try these two, and when you're ready, unpause so you can hear the explanation. All right, I hope you took time to pause this video and try these on your own. So let me walk you through um, my work on this. So with this first one, I'll scroll down here in just a second. This first one, we're comparing cost and muffin. So I got cost per muffin because that's the order they gave me. And I set up the $3.50 on top, four underneath. And we want to know how much one muffin costs, so we scaled down to one. So I took four divided by four to get one, so I gotta do the same thing to the top and do 350 
$3.50 divided by 4. So I did that off to the side. Now one thing real quick here that maybe you weren't 100% sure on is we needed to keep going, but because we're talking about cost here, we cannot have the thousandths place for cost because that would be like saying part of a penny. Like this would be like half a penny. Well, we can't pay in that amount. So we have to stop at the hundredths. But what we do is we round to the nearest hundredths. So this is going to actually be 83 cents. And feel free to look through, the, but this is step by step what you should have had if you had to divide this out, which you probably did. And so our answer would be 83 cents um, for one muffin. Okay, our example over here was dealing with miles and hours. They gave us 480 miles in six hours. We want to know what that unit rate would be. So we're dividing by six. So 480 divided by six is going to be 80 miles per hour. And you can just put MPH if you'd like. Okay, so if you have any questions, please, again, as always, um, rewind or ask a question, you know, change your tracking page. But otherwise, move on to the next thing.